Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. Let's discuss another interesting problem in the series of Quant 200. This question says, in a workshop, a machine produces a certain number of tools each day. On the first day, it produces three tools. Each following day, the number of tools produced is three more than twice the number of tools produced the previous day. Find the total number of tools produced by the end of the eighth day. So we need to find total number of tools produced in first eight days, right? What we can say on day one, number of tools produced is equal to three. Day two, number of tools produced is twice of the previous day plus three, which is equal to nothing but six plus three, that is nine. Then day 3, number of tools produced will be 2 into 9 plus 3 and that is equal to 21. Then again on D4, it will be 2 into 21 plus 3 which will be equal to 45 and this will go on, right? On day 8, what will be the number of tools produced? So for that, let's see if we are able to find any pattern here. So. 3, 9, 21, 45. Let's try to write it as 3 into 1, right? All of these are multiples of 3. So if we write them as multiples of 3, we might get something out of it. So what are we getting? 3 into 1, 3 into 3, 3 into 7, 3 into 15. 1, 3, 7, 15. Does that ring any bell in your mind? All of these numbers are 1 less than consecutive powers of 2, right? So this can be written as 3 into 2 to the power 1 minus 1. This can be written as 3 into 2 to the power 2 minus 1, 4 minus 1. This can be written as 3 into 2 to the power 3 minus 1. And this will be 3 into 2 to the power 4 minus 1. Similarly, on 8th day, number of tools produced will be equal to 3 into 2 to the power 8 minus 1, right? So we got the pattern. On nth day, if you want to find number of tools produced, it will be 3 into 2 to the power n minus 1. Now we need to find total number of tools produced in the first 8 days. So we need to add all these. So we can take 3 common. If I take 3 common, it will be 2 to the power 1 minus 1 plus 2 to the power 2 minus 1 and so on, 2 to the power 8 minus 1. This will be equal to 3 into 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, till 2 to the power 8, minus 8. Now using the sum of a geometric progression, we can find the sum of this value, which will be equal to 2 to the power, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, the first term is 2, right? First term is 2 and uh, then common ratio is also 2. So if you take the 2 common, we can say this will be equal to this will be equal to 2 to the power 8 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 minus 8 right and that gives us 3 into so 2 to the power 8 minus 1 256 minus 1 255 into 2 255 into 2 is 510 so 510 minus 8, which will be equal to 3 into 502. And that gives us 1506. And that is going to be our answer. So that was a very interesting problem based on sequence and series. I hope you understood the solution. Thank you. 